Welcome to the world of classic cinema. Today, let's delve into a 1933 film that's a real gem. Packed with a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Featuring an array of roles, each actor brings something unique to the table. Who stole your heart? Share your favorite character in the comments below. What makes this movie stand the test of time? Its lasting qualities have turned it into a symbol of the film industry's strength. What do you think keeps audiences coming back? Before we dive into more facts, we want to hear from you. What's your fondest memory or personal experience related to this film? Drop your stories in the comment entrance. We're eager to hear them. Now, let's uncover the interesting details behind this classic. Get ready for a journey through the highs and lows of this movie. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. There's more to come, so keep watching. What's your favorite character? What qualities make this movie a lasting symbol of the industry? Share your stories and memories in the comment entrance below. We can't wait to hear them. And that's a wrap for now. Stay tuned for the next installment of Classic Cinema Exploration. Until then, keep the movie magic alive. Released in 1933, She Done and Wrong had a significant influence on the film industry and popular culture. Starring Mae West, the movie is well known for its clever dialogue, daring humor, and bold depiction of female sexuality. It achieved commentarial success, becoming one of the highest grossing films of its time. The movie's importance lies in its impact on the portrayal of women in cinema. Mae West's character, Lady Lou, challenged traditional gender roles with her confidence, independence, and assertiveness. This portrayal broke new ground for its time, opening doors for future female characters to express themselves on screen. The film's themes of love, desire, and betrayal still connect with audiences today. Its memorable quotes and scenes have been referenced and parodied in various films, TV shows, and other media. Additionally, She Done Him Wrong remains relevant for its historical significance as a pre-code Hollywood production, offering a glimpse into a time when censorship regulations were less strict. In Sumo Lanterary, the movie remains a classic due to its groundbreaking portrayal of female characters, cultural influence, and its lasting impact on popular culture. The film encountered significant opposition from censorship boards upon its release, facing rejection in Australia, Austria, and Finland, and was even banned in Atlanta. This resistance underscores the era's strict moral and censorship standards, which the film's content seemingly defied. Despite its controversies, the film achieved notable recognition in the film industry. Its runtime of 66 minutes makes it the shortest film ever to be nominated for an Academy Award in the Best Picture category, illustrating that its impact was not diminished by its brief duration. The lead actress, known for her performance in Arthur Hamelanterstein's sometime opposite Ed Wynn, played a pivotal role in popularizing the Shimmelheim tree on the Broadway stage in 1918. This dance, characterized by minimal foot movement and a continuous shimmelheim tree of the shoulders, torso, and pelvis, was something she encountered in black cafes in Chicago. Her introduction of the shimmelheim tree to a broader audience marks a significant moment in the cross-cultural exchange of dance forms during the early 20th century. She Done Him Wrong was a significant movie in cinema history. It came out in 1933 and got nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture, along with Imitation of Life and Les Miserables. The film starred an actress with Jewish ancestry through her mother's side. She acted in four movies chosen for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress because of their cultural, historical, or artistic importance. She Done Him Wrong, Wild Boys of the Road, Imitation of Life, and Rebel Without a Cause. These movies are recognized for their influence on American cinema and are appreciated by both audiences and scholars for their significance. She Done Him Wrong, a movie from 1933, was added to Universal's collection of over 700 Paramount productions in 1958 for TV broadcast. It first aired in St. Louis in January 1959 and later reached cities like Milwaukee, San Francisco, and Grand Rapids. Viewers in Chicago had to wait until June 1961. By late 1962, it was shown in New York City, Philadelphia, and Los Angeles. The film was released on DVD in 2008 and has been regularly screened on Turner Classic Movies. The lead actor, Mae West, also appeared in two versions of Robert Louis Stevenson's Kidnapped in 1938 and 1948. She earned a place on the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 funniest American movies. In 1933, Paramount Pictures took a bold step with their movie, She Done Him Wrong. 
Despite knowing it would face censorship challenges, the studio urgently pushed its production due to financial troubles. This gamble paid off when the film became a huge success. During its initial run in New York, the lead actress, Mae West, performed live scenes from the movie alongside George Medeksai. This promotional tactic was Kamalantran at the time and was also used in other films like Footlight, parade by Warner Brothers in the same year. Mae West, famous for her role as Mrs. Hudson in Sherlock Holmes' films opposite Bezel Rathbone, portrayed a similar character in the movie. Her performance added depth to the film and showcased her versatility as an actress. Overall, the movie stands as a testament to Paramount's risk-taking and Mae West's talent during the 1930s. Starring Mary Gilmer, she done him wrong hit screens in 1933 and left an indelible mark on cinema. Gilmer's notable role paved the way for future successes, such as Charade in 1963, where Gilmer agreed to participate only if chased by Audrey Hepburn. This move showcased Gilmer's confidence and creativity, earning Charade critical acclaim and a spot on the American Film Institute's 1998 list of the 400 greatest American movies. Mary Gilmer's personal life was rife with drama. In 1908, she tied the knot with William Gordon, but their relationship soured, leading to separation in 1917. The legal details of their split remain unclear, yet Gilmer retained Gordon's surname and never remarried. Tragically, Gordon's life took a dark turn, culminating in suicide in 1937 after working as a janitor in his final days. Despite the triumph of She Done Him Wrong, Gilmer's life off-screen was marked by personal challenges and tragedy underscoring the complexity of the human experience. Mae West, a talented writer and entertainer, displayed her versatility by writing her own plays and creating the script for her first movie. She also dabbled in novel writing and collaborated with composer Ralph Ranger on song lyrics, notably contributing to the soundtrack of a 1933 movie. Besides her creative work, West also helped produce sketches and materials for other performers. Paramount Studios signed West in 1931 with plans to turn her successful stage production, Diamond Lil, into a film. However, they faced challenges with censorship, leading to a two-year struggle to navigate the restrictions. This conflict resulted in a modified version of the film, which was titled differently. The movie marked one of the final productions before stricter regulations were enforced, Despite its significance before stricter regulations, the movie received only one Oscar nomination, specifically for Best Picture. This nomination acknowledges the movie's importance during its time. In Sumalantrary, Mae West's entry into film with this movie was marked by her involvement in scriptwriting and song lyric composition. The movie's journey reflected the challenges of censorship and its importance in the transition to stricter regulations in the industry. The classic film, She Done Him Wrong, made in 1933, holds a special place in film history. It was the fifth most popular film in the U.S. when it came out and was later chosen for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 1996. This recognition shows how much it has influenced American movies. The movie stars a famous actor known for roles in other great films like All Quiet on the Western Front, Cimarron, and The Best Years of Our Lives. He also acted in seven other films that were nominated for Best Picture. His presence in She Done Him Wrong added depth and made it more interesting for audiences. She Done Him Wrong is not just about awards and success at the box office. It's also loved by fans and experts in film history. People appreciate its connection to the culture of the time it was made and the skill of everyone involved in making it. That's why it's still remembered today as a key part of Hollywood's past. In Sumalantrary, She Done Him Wrong is an important piece of film history that has had a big influence on American cinema. It's loved for its connection to the culture of its time and the skill of its creators, making it a lasting part of Hollywood history.